so the next example is a sample of 900 member is found to have a mean of 3.4 cm can it be reasonably regarded as truly random sample from a large population with mean 3.25 cm and standard deviation 1.61 cm so we'll consider now h not again the same so there is a no significant difference between x bar and mu so therefore the given data a sample of 900 member so n value they have given 900 found to have a mean how much here 3.4 so sample mean is nothing but x bar that is 3.4 they have given continue can it be reasonably regarded as truly random sample from a large population with mean that is mu is equal to 3.25 and standard deviation that is rho is equal to 1.61 so they have given so we know the formula what here so we have mod z is equal to mod of x bar minus mu divided by standard deviation by, divided by root n so therefore the values you substitute here x bar is 3.4 minus mu is 3.25 divided by rho is that is standard deviation 1.61 divided by square root of 900 so on simplification we will get this answer as that is mod of z will get the answer of this so mod z is equal to 2.795 will get the simplification so i can say that so 1.96 that is for 5 percent so this value is greater 2.795 is greater than 1.96 for 5 percent so uh, as well as uh, greater than 2.58 that is for 1 percent also so in both the cases this value is rejected because 2.795 is greater than 1.96 for 5 percent and 2.795 is greater than 2.58 also a greater usually you test for a five percent only if they have not given any uh, level of significance so at that time you can conclude directly so therefore what we can say here so h naught that is given h naught is rejected for five percent and one percent level of significance So in this way we need to calculate the problems based on this simple mean.